What's up, Average Dove fans? Welcome back to another video. And today, you knew it was coming. It's a software. Yes, yesterday I completed a comparison video between the Honor Magic V2 and the Xiaomi Mix Fold 3, all about the hardware. Well, as I mentioned in the video, a software video will be here. And well, here it is. Only difference being, this is not a comparison between the two phones. This is an in-depth look at the software and the stylus pen support on the Honor Magic V2. Yes, I never mentioned my hardware comparison, bit of an oversight, that the Honor Magic V2 has stylus support and when you buy the ultimate version from Wanda Mobile, link in description, the pen is included and it is a really nice pen. So, I want to get really deep into this, and in order to do that, I am going to go full flossy Carter mode, top-down view, every single inch and piece of the settings, show you how the pen works, its use case scenarios. Now, before I get to the top-down view, I just want to highlight a comment. Somebody had commented, some really cool guy had commented that the comparison video, like, both phones are black, and you had, like, a black and white desk mat and you could barely see the phones well one you're completely wrong of course you can see the phones and two as mentioned get a life however i did actually get a new desk mat before so i ordered it before i shot that video and that comment was existed so i didn't want that guy to get some pleasure thinking that i changed my desk mat just for him i didn't i have added some color i hope you like it Let's go on with the video. Quick bit of housekeeping before we get to the top down view and get balls deep in the software. Subscribers, we're up to 9,175, which is 825 off my target for this year. You can help with that. Smash subscribe. I know you love my content. I can tell by all the views, likes, and comments. So just hit subscribe. That's all you need to do. Well, actually, if you want to go a step further, you can join the channel and be one of our 30 plus members and get exclusive membership benefits like first refusal on the sale of the Honor Magic V2 at a discounted rate. And that's all through our exclusive WhatsApp group. So join the channel buttons down here. Now let's get on with the video. So the Honor Magic V2 unfolded 4.7 millimeters, just insane. To keep on its toes though, I have kind of got the Xiaomi Mix Fold 3 and the Vivo X Fold Plus lurking away in the corners. Now I want to start off with a feature that neither of these devices have and it's the stylus pen. So as mentioned, the stylus pen comes in the box along with this handy little case. It is a blue tooth stylus pen. Usual functionality, however, what I really love is the design. As mentioned yesterday, it has a nice clip for you to clip onto your shirt and it just looks and feels weight-wise just like a pen. Now, I know this is kind of hardware, but I want to talk about it. To charge, it's USB-C and this little magnetic topper. Again, another really cool design feature. Now, I charged this yesterday. I'm not sure of the battery life, but I'm pretty sure when I turn it on just now, it's going to have 100%, which is what it showed me this morning as well. Just insane. Now, you can see here, there's an option in the setting to turn on off mode. Essentially, just like a Samsung, you can write when the screen is off, which is really cool. So it's like a quick note style thing. Um, you can see my average dad. So what I want to do first, I'm just going to save that. So just to show you how it works, as soon as I click the button on the device, there we go. It brings up the pen off mode so you can write your shopping list, whatever you want to do. Obviously, as always, it's got lots of different colors you can choose from, different pen styles. If you want to get the eraser, just a double tap of the button and that's it 
and we'll go back to pen just now and that's it back on the pen so if you could all just take a second to like the video that would be appreciated now once we unlock the device you have just like on the Samsung you have a little pen menu so if I click on that you can see different options now there's take a quick note there's screenshot there's partial screenshot there's a lasso where you can copy and paste just any sort of shape you like on the page which I believe might be cool so hopefully you can see that all okay so if I just click on screenshot that's automatically going to take well obviously a screenshot if I click on partial screenshot there we go so I can just draw a shape on the area I actually want a screenshot then I can just work over it the pen the software everything is smooth now as far as how the pen feels it's got like a rubberized tip so it doesn't feel sharp it's got a nice feel when you're using the pen super responsive as far as touch rate sampling um, everything's really quick doesn't seem to be much latency now getting specs on the actual latency is nigh on impossible here in the UK all I can do is tell you that in real life the pen works really well yeah I know it's not <laughs> scientific or too technical but so far using it for the past couple of hours notes drawing writing do whatever you're doing screenshots editing it, it works I personally am not a huge stylus user but the fact that it's there in the box when you buy the ultimate is a bit of a bonus I would say now remember this is £1,530 from Wanda but that is remember a one terabyte 16 gigabyte of RAM and a pen included so software wise a big elephant in the room I need to get out the way first there is no Google mobile services on this device someone had commented that they'd seen oh I've got Google Apps you can see here that these Google Apps have a little G box symbol now don't get me wrong if I open an app it's going to open up just like any other app oh look at that we've got an extra three subscribers since I last spoke to you in the intro um, all apps open just as normal. Oh, oh what would Flossie say? Oh, Fem the show, it's Fem the show, it's show. Yeah, all apps open just as normal. Now, with G Space, just to show you as well, so because there's no Google mobile services, G Box and G Space are the two main virtual apps you would use. However, with G Space, when you do use an app, there's always an ad which really annoys me so if I open up the Play Store you can see how long this is going to take and then there's an ad and that just really annoys me however with the Gbox I downloaded them all from there there's emails as well everything works fine notifications are coming through absolutely fine now some of you may be thinking but why can't you just download an APK for Google services and all that good stuff I'm going to show you the Xiaomi Mix Fold 3 for a second when I go into the settings on the Mix Fold 3 and scroll down to the bottom and click on accounts, Google is here. So because Google is showing in accounts, when you download the Play Store, it is the real Play Store. It's not a virtual thing. There's no little, you can, well, change the icons here, but there's no little G Box or G Space icon. This is a full google play store on the mix fold 3 because it's in the accounts option if i take you to the accounts option on here you can see there is no google and if i want to add google is not an option you cannot add google hence why you see gbox and gspace in day-to-day -day life for me personally I don't use Android Auto because there's no ads with Gbox and all app, apps open up. I'll just show you again. All apps open up. You can see it's logged into my average dad. It's full average dad account. You 
can see that my um, photos are the photos that I've taken, my camera test and other stuff yesterday. Everything works absolutely fine for me, so I am not too fussed. I am delighted to have this Honor Magic V2 working just like another Android foldable phone. But it is important that I make that clear. So moving on to the parts you want to see, the actual software. So if we scroll up to the top, your first issue that you will come across, Honor ID. You cannot get an Honor ID without a Chinese mobile phone number. Not possible. So if you've got a way of getting a Chinese mobile phone number to link to your Honor ID, then happy days for you. The reason I say that is because if I come out of here and go back into, in fact, what I'll do is I'll go into Gbox. So there's one app in Gbox or the Google Play Store that you cannot get to work because of the Honor ID. Now it's the only app I've come across so far and unfortunately for me it's, it's an app I use all the time and it's Gboard. You cannot untoggle the Honor keyboard without your Honor ID. You need to be signed into an account. So unfortunately you are stuck with the native one so if i just bring up the keyboard here in messages now the native one is fine i do find it a bit laggier than gboard it doesn't have my normal icons and there's just certain quirks about the keyboard you will get used to it don't get me wrong but again i can't I do miss my Gboard. Previously, I had APK files that managed to work around this, and I did get Gboard on my last Honor Magic V2. I don't have the files saved because I didn't have an Honor ID. I couldn't save the files and sync them to my new Honor V2, but I will hunt them out, and I'm going to try and get this phone set up with Gboard. So it can be done, even without Google Mobile Services or an Honor ID, I just don't have the file here just now to do it. Back into the settings. So, Wi-Fi, obviously no problem at all. Bluetooth 5.3, everything's perfect. This pairs up with my AirPods, my Sennheisers, everything absolutely fine. Obviously, the included pen is Bluetooth, so it syncs up no problem. I have no issues when it comes to any connections. 3G, 4G, 5G, all perfect on my network, which is Sky Mobile, which runs off the O2 network in the UK. I'm not hearing any issues with bands like you are on the Xiaomi Mix Fold 3, for example. And just to kind of sum that up, and I'll cover that in a software video on this phone, band 20 basically just means 4G is out on most networks. And while that does sound really annoying, 3G is fine, 5G is fine, and Wi-Fi is fine. So if you happen to find yourself somewhere that doesn't have 3G, 5G, or Wi-Fi, well then you're fucked. But other than that, most places these days have one of those network coverages. But again, the Honor Magic V2 does not have that issue. Honor Connect is, think of it like um, DeX um, for Samsung. You can connect this phone to your laptop or TV or something. However, it has to be Honor. Uh, that isn't something I'm going to purchase anytime soon. I'll stick with my MacBook Pro, thank you. Now, as mentioned, there's a link to Windows function here, so you can link this to your Windows PC. I use a Mac, so that won't work for me. There's NFC, so yes, you can pay with Google Pay, however, it's through Gbox, and if I'm being entirely honest, Google Pay isn't something that worked for me every time, so I would kind of always make sure that I'm carrying my um, little Apple wallet with me, to be quite honest. It's got some important cards in there, 
So I keep that handy when I'm carrying the V2 only. Now, what you're probably interested in is customization, personalization. First thing I do when I set up any device, I come in here, I go to home screen and I select drawer mode. The drawer mode means that you don't have apps clogging up your home screen or other pages. They're all just in here. It also means that you can remove all of the bloatware from the home screen. If you're in standard mode, you can't remove any of that stuff. So you have to make sure you're in drawer mode in order to get the bloatware removed from your device. Now, other home screen settings, obviously we have themes that you can choose from, many, many themes, and you can get more themes. However, that will take you to the Honor App Store. And for some of the themes, you need your Honor ID. <laughs> um, now, as far as wallpapers, there's, there's many wallpapers to choose from. If I go into show more, again, as mentioned, you kind of need, I'll allow that. I've never actually gone through this yet with this phone because, again, Honor ID is most likely needed. There are literally thousands of wallpapers to choose from and download. I believe only when you need to pay is when you need to link your Honor ID. So there's lots of free ones there. Now, we also have icons. You can get different icons. You can change the icon size. You've got the always on display. Now I've got my always on display set up already. And as mentioned in a previous video, this does show icons as well. So if you've got notifications, they will show up on the Honor device. I guess another software aspect that I've actually not covered on this yet is the actual unlocking. So this is set up with Face ID. So you can see there it's seen my face or it's got fingerprint unlock. Really quick, really responsive. Um, sorry, always on display. There are, again, lots and lots of different icons and always on displays to choose from. That's pretty much it when it comes to the home screen styling, always on display, locked screen. Moving on, I always choose dark mode. That's not to save battery. That's just because I prefer it. As you all know, or if you don't know by now, I have a visual impairment. So I always make sure that the font style and display size are slightly larger. So it's not just for the purpose of this video, it is because I am blind as a bat. Sound and vibration. Vibrate. Silent. Or sound on. Pretty self-explanatory. There's lots of different ringtones and alert tones to choose from in here. So again, customization like it is on any Android device, the Xiaomi, the Vivo, your Samsung, are all absolutely perfect when it comes to customization. Um, haptics on this are really good. I would say on a par with any other foldable device I've owned, certainly better than the Pixel Fold, the Z Fold 5, probably on a par with the Xiaomi Mix Fold 3. Now, notification settings, not different. This is an Android device, folks. So the settings in your Android phone are going to pretty much mirror this. Now, your notifications, you can choose how you want them to appear on the lock screen, if you want them to pop down, if you want them to be bubbles, play around with them. As mentioned, I do get notifications on my apps. Here's your biometrics and password. Now you can have your fingerprint actually be used to open the second space, and we'll talk about that in a second. But ultimately, it's a secret app vault where you can keep some shady stuff if that's what you're into. I, of course, don't have one of those because I am too honest. As mentioned as well, all apps have notifications, but if you've got any issues with a particular app, you can go into any app. So go in here and you can change or make sure that all of the settings are enabled, the permissions, the notifications, all that stuff. For Gbox and Gspace, for example, you have to give it permission to create shortcuts to the home screen. That's how you get the icons. So if you've got Gbox, Gbox downloaded and you've long pressed it and clicked on create shortcut and it still doesn't appear, it's because the settings aren't correct. So you have to go into the settings menu and change that yourself. 
to allow shortcuts on the home screen. Now battery, I've just charged this up, it's at 100%. Battery life with the 8 Gen 2 chip and a 5000 milliamp hour silicon battery is fantastic. Whenever I got this device, I think it was three days ago, now granted I've not been using it heavily at all, but I hadn't charged it. Out the box, it had its first charge today, folks. So it lasted. Standby time is, is phenomenal. As you can see here, G-Box is always going to be my most used app because it's a virtual app and that's where they all come from. Now this is a pretty site that I think is maybe the first time I've ever had this. Storage. Still got 980 gigabytes remaining. I do believe this is the first one terabyte phone I've ever owned and I'm delighted it's this one. But yeah, here's your storage. If you need to free up some space, which I won't need to do for a long, long time. You can do that in here. Kind of looks like the iOS that Apple set up or the Samsung one. I think a misconception is that, oh, it's a Chinese ROM. It's not got Google, Google mobile services, so it's going to be so complicated. Folks, as you've seen throughout this video, it's not complicated. It's all very self-explanatory. Now, a question I get all the time here when it comes to Chinese ROMs is, how safe are they? Are they secure? What's the security like? Again, like all Android devices these days, I would argue that the Chinese ROM devices are even more secure than something like an iPhone. And I know that sounds crazy and it's a bit of a hot take, but the second space, the scanning for viruses, the emergency SOS, the Find My Device, all features you get across all phones, but this just seems to offer more functionality when it comes to privacy and security. So privacy, again, it'll tell you which apps are tracking your, using your voice, recording, your camera, all that stuff. It'll show up in here if any were using it. Well-being, screen on time, basically you can set up so you can schedule that your phone is off. You can't use your phone it's almost like focus modes on iPhones. Sadly, again, this can't be the Google Assistant. However, you can download the Google app as your browser and then you can create the Google shortcut widget. I've not actually got around to that, I normally do, but you can have that widget there. So the little foldable phone menu is handy. The first option here is how do you want the outer screen to stay on when you fold the device, you can turn that on or off. I always like to keep it on, but again, that's up to you. You have your app scaling, so you can change any apps to full screen 4.3. Um, I always like full screen apps, so everything's changed to full screen. Now, App Expander just means that you can have basically floating windows. You can have floating windows for these apps, however, the apps I use are not supported for floating windows, sadly, so that's not going to work. And that's basically it. You can see about your phone. This is the 7.2 version of Magic OS. People give Honor's software some stick saying it's not as, you know, fine-tuned as Vivo's or Xiaomi's. For me, this does what I need it to do and I'm happy with it. Now, before I go from this top down and throw it back to me and give my overall opinions, multitasking is a slight issue. I am not going to lie. So I haven't actually spent any time trying to work out how multitasking works, I'm afraid. So I'm sorry, you can shoot me down in the comments. I will look into it. I haven't, again, used this. I've not got any work apps on here. My work apps are the only things I tend to multitask anyway. So apologies. I'm sure there is a way to multitask that isn't linked to the Honor ID, so it will work. Um, I just I just haven't got around to it. So there we have it. I really hope that helped. I have to be honest, doing software videos is a bit of a struggle because of my eye condition. I'm constantly having to make sure I'm on the right setting. 
I can't see the phone like that far away. So when I'm doing a top down and it has to be kind of at arm's length, it's so hard. So go easy on me on the comments. I just wanted to get across all of the settings that are available on Magic OS 7 with the Honor Magic V2. If you've got any questions specifically about the software, please pop them down in the comments. I will get back to you. There's been, I think, like 150 comments on just the last video, which was yesterday, which is insane, but I do respond to them all, even the bad ones. But yeah, these videos are meant to be informative for you when you're going to purchase a £1,500 or $1,800 device. You want as much information as possible. And I know that the Magic V2, particularly the ultimate version with the pen, there's nothing other than Chinese unboxing videos. There's really nothing out there. So I guess that's good for me, but bad for you because you're stuck with my content. Anyway, I'm getting the Google Pixel 8 Pro today. Yep, just another phone to add to the ever-growing um, collection. If you've enjoyed this video, please smash the like button. If you haven't already, hit subscribe. And is there a secret word today? Yes. Let's go for headphones. That's the word, headphones. This video must be like 25 minutes long. I apologise if you've had to sit through my dulcet tone this whole time. Until next time.